April 7th, 1984. Does that date sound familiar to you, Mr. Afton? What the hell is this? This date was very important to me. I'm not surprised you don't remember. Why would you? Where am I? But this date does invoke something inside of you. Yes. A joy. But also... Sadness. It is eating at you. It has been since then. You cannot escape it. You cannot run from it. Despite what you tell yourself. What do you want from me? You are hurting, Mr. Afton. You're an open wound. And I am here to make you bleed. What did you do? If only you had listened to what I said. And if only you had been such a mindless, stupid fucking idiot, none of this would have happened! <laughs> Didn't anybody listen to me? They called me deranged. They said I was a madman. Well, it would seem that this madman has beaten death. <laughs> Thank you. 
Care to do the honors? This is kind of random, but I have a question. Go on. So you know how we had that party back in 1985? The one with the really big cake? Oh, I? Well, it got me thinking. How old are we? Like, do we just stop where we died or do we keep counting? I, I don't know, Chica. Jeez, wait, that would make me like 30 or something. Well. That would make me around 40 then, wouldn't it? <laughs> you old man! You're gonna die tomorrow, mate. Hey, don't jinx it. Hey, uh... What's up with Lefty? She's been more... somber than usual. Cut her some slack. She hasn't said a word since that whole kerfuddle back at the warehouse. Are you worried about the others? I don't just mean the younger ones, like Freddy and Foxy and all that. Goldie, he seemed pretty pissed. I just want to make Afton pay. Look, I can't see this ending pleasantly for any of us. We just got to stick to the plan, get Afton, and finish what we tried to do. He'll get what's coming through. What goes around, comes around. We are here. Me. 
An apology? Like that's gonna undo any of the damage I've done. It won't bring back your old life if that's what you want. That is no longer what I want. And what do you want then? I want you to suffer. I want you to experience a fraction of the pain I've been through. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know suffering. You don't think I know suffering? I was locked in the same room for 30 goddamn years! That is not what I am referring to. You think you can somehow run from your past by choosing to ignore it. You've had quite the life, Mr. Afton. Let's recap, shall we? You were also responsible for the death of your wife. I had good reason for it. Yes. The reason. Elizabeth. Don't you dare say that name. You were responsible for her death too. Killed by the hand, or perhaps claw, of your own machine. What are you doing? I am merely reminding you of your sins. In case you forgot. Stop this. Your son, Evan. Killed by yet another one of your creations. Stop it. Yep, it's me again. No mirror up. Come on guys, I'm not in the mood. Alright, if you insist. You owe me one. Oh, now you owe me two. Consider your ghostly ass rescued. Now what do you say? We were doing just fine without you, thank you very much. We have something that needs to be dealt with, so if you wouldn't mind. Okay, okay, calm your horses. Who are you trying to impress with your so serious attitude? Our interests no longer align. Cassidy needs Afton for reasons you aren't willing to understand. And we aren't about to allow some military con artists prevent her from doing what must be done. Alright, alright, fair enough. It looks like we have our differences. But at the end of the day, we both hate this, uh, G.I. jackass. So we'd like to help. <laughs> You're helping us. Call it a ceasefire. Yeah, mate, we were thinking the same thing. Oh, they really want to scrap now? They really want a piece of this? The Major should be in the last vehicle. I'll open the doors and you grab them. Probably doesn't need his double-A batteries. I might be waiting all night for this. Well, let's do it! We mustn't let him enter the premises. Cassidy needs her time with Afton. 
Oh boy, you guys always resorting to violence. Barney, we know you're not one to put up a fight. But don't worry, we'll be your left hand man. <laughs> Got him. Oh, very funny and odd. I'll give you points for originality. Oh, actually, no, I won't. Beanie, ready, get the balls. Tell me this, where the hell is the one you call Springtrap? Now, how do you feel, Afton? You are reliving your worst experiences, your nightmares, your hell, over and over and over again. You should know that this is simply a taste of your future experiences. It is my responsibility to ensure that the feelings you experience now shall prevail for the next many millennia. Or at least, until our star burns out. We shall see what happens then. You can't break me. But of course, one cannot break what has already been broken. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I was under the impression you had lost anything remotely resembling empathy or remorse. But for a moment, I saw sorrow. Fleeting, but noticeable. I'm going to kill you, like I killed the rest of them. That would be entertaining, I suppose. And fortunately for you, you have all the time in the world to plan this theoretical action. But I believe it is safe to assume that no force on this earth can match the power I believe. Hello again, Afton. We have unfinished business we need to discuss. Please, come with me. How do you know that would work? Electrical currents stun them. They may be undead, but they're still just nuts and bolts. Say, detective, maybe you should stay behind. Keep the rest of them in line. You can leave Afton to me. <laughs> What's the matter? Some of them getting on your nerves. <laughs> no, I just need you here. Thanks. All right, roger that, I guess. Let him get away. Major is taking care of it. Wait a minute. You didn't get laid off, did you? What? No, no, I didn't get laid off. Then why did he leave you behind? He just needs me here. Making sure ones like you aren't killing our entire troop. Ugh, I don't want to hear it. Has I never hit you to think why he needs Afton so urgently? The entire point of this operation was to learn how you work. For the benefit of our industry. Heck, every industry. The entire world. You're freaking immortal. Who doesn't want a taste of that? Okay, yeah, everyone's always saying that until they're the ones that are unkillable. Trust me, it's not as good as they make it sound. Major's a stubborn man. Try telling him that. Oh my god, how stupid are you? Open your eyes, you moron! He used you to get to us because we refused to talk to him! Wait, what? Yo, 
You're the investigator here, aren't you, detective? You understand us. We trust you to trust us, and we need your help. Trust is a strong word. He did just ruin a perfectly good plan by sending away our only leverage again. I can't believe this. What do you think they're talking about? I don't know, but it doesn't sound good. Hey, any updates on what happened with Lefty and Goldie? Are they, like, good now or something? No way, dude. Last time I checked, she was unleashing hell on everyone. Why do you ask? Look. You don't understand. You have nothing to gain. And everything to lose. So, what exactly will happen to after now? Well, knowing Major, He's going to run all kinds of experiments on Afternet HQ until he gets what he wants, which could take weeks, months, even years. To be honest, I don't know when he'll be satisfied. I'm sorry. Oh, beautiful. And now he's probably taking them to some undisclosed off-grid facility. And we have no idea where this is or how to get there. I wouldn't say that. To me. Sure is off the grid. Seriously though, how are we getting in? There's no way we could just force our way in. It seems to me like the only way in is the front door. And correct me if I'm wrong, you got sacked and Bonnie and I don't exactly look like we'd be clogging in for a night shift. Listen, listen, I'll go in. But I need one of their uniforms. I can't just waddle in there as the now infamous detective. If you need a uniform, say no more. I did it once, I can do it again. Actually, now that I think about it. Enard, you're coming with me. I'm gonna need someone to fry the cameras as I infiltrate. And I assume you're one with the wires? I, uh, I can't believe you would say that about us, Saturn. Of course we'll help you. Alright, let's go catch ourselves a spring trap. Alright, is everyone okay? Yeah, we're in. I think I'm getting the hang of it. I really couldn't have made these vents a little wider. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be good at that stuff. And I thought the lookout was supposed to be armed. <laughs> be quiet, you guys. We need to focus. We can't be here for very long. I may have a disguise, but if I'm caught trying to bust after now, it's over. Hey, head on. I got a camera up ahead. Work your magic. All right, hold on. I'm initializing my electromagnetic multi-system wipeout.